Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in this video, we're going to give you 39 of our cruise essentials that we pack on it. Every, Every one cruise. of our cruises. Yes, Listen, we do. In this video, we aim to give you some ideas of the things that you can pack while you're getting ready to go on your cruise to make your cruise seamless. You won't have no hiccups, and you'll have all the essential things that you'll need along the way. Are you ready to get into this video? Let's go. The first thing that you need to pack are things that's going to get you on the actual sale. And what do I mean by that? Boarding documents. You may not be at this point right now, but you will get the opportunity to check in for your cruise two weeks prior to your cruise. Until then, you will not have a boarding document. That comes two weeks prior to your sailing. Right. Also, you will need your luggage tags. Yep. We will also show you later on in the video that luggage tags, you can put them in a holder to secure them to your luggage. Also, this is the main thing because, baby, if you don't have this or a combination of... Baby, that passport. Yes, indeed. A passport book, passport card. And if you don't have a passport, don't fret. If you're leaving from the U.S. and returning back to that same U.S. port, you can travel with a state-issued birth certificate, a valid birth certificate, yes. that is, and a state-issued ID. If you need more details on what documentation you need to get on a cruise. We have an entire video dedicated to that information. We will link that in the description field below. The next thing that we make sure that we essential uh, that we bring on every trip is our cash Hello. and our credit cards. Yes, indeed. You need that. So the reason we bring our cash is because we want to make sure that when we meet the porter, which is your first person that you're going to meet to mm -hmm. give your bags to, so they can get your bags to your room. So we get a tip for them. And then we have cash tips. Just in case people on the ship, well, some of the workers on the ship go above and beyond so we can be able to give them cash tips. And also, we make sure that we have small bills. Right. Also, because we know we're going to port. And what's port is, that's like if you're going to Bahamas, Jamaica, Jamaica, things like that. So you want to make sure you have small bills when you go there. And we have a credit card. So just in case the credit card is for, to be attached to our sign and sale card. What is a sign and sale card? That is going to be your card for your access on and off the ship to be able to get in your room, to be able to make purchases on the exactly. ship. Exactly. Yep. So that's your sign and sale. So you're going to be funding with that. Then also, we like to have our credit card. So when we're in port, we can be able to make purchases if we don't want to use our cash. Exactly. The next essential. A first aid kit, listen. Yes, indeed. <laughs> if anything were to happen, usually it does happen when you're on vacation. Why? Because you're out of your element. You're doing things that you usually would not do while you're at home. You're climbing mountains, you're zip lining, you're doing things. Yeah. And just having access to some neosporin, some bandages, mm. something like that, um, some bite medicine, some itch cream can help you out so much. It'll keep you from going down to the medic, paying that high price for that stuff, or going to the gift shop and actually having to purchase it. Yep. And uh, keep in mind, all the items that we are mentioning in this video is in our Cruise Essential Store. So the link will be down below in the description. So you can go and check yep. all these things out. Absolutely. The fourth Cruise Essential we bring is our medicine case. that so we keep all of our medicine in here. Mm -hmm. the last time we showed this, this really was a hit. So was you can hit, definitely hit. pick you one of these up Love from it. our Cruise Click. Essential Store. It actually splits your medicine up, and divide then. it up, keep it separate. Also, um, for your first time, us... Um, Always bring extra medicine. So mm -hmm. if you're going on a five day cruise, bring double it. bring double it or triple it because you just never know if anything is gonna happen that you might right. need more medicine. So yep, pick you one up. The next thing that you're gonna need is something to avoid seasickness. Yes. I usually wear C bands, but I'm all out at the moment. I'm waiting for Amazon to drop me off some now. Yeah. <laughs> but Dramamine is usually everybody's go-to. I mean, our bottle has seen better days, but it is Dramamine in here, I promise you. Yeah. Um, but this will be essential for helping you get over that seasickness or edging off the seasickness because once you get it, it's a wrap for at least a day and a half. Yes, it is. So we want you to prepare to take care of that immediately. Yep. And especially if you are, if you position yourself on the ship in the front 
or the back, you definitely want to make sure you have that drama mean and them C bands yeah. because those parts of the ship move rocks the most. Mm-hmm. All right. The next essential that we always bring is our sunscreen. Yes. 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 For our cousins, yes, we, we need, need sunscreen. sunscreen. <laughs> and usually in the Caribbeans, we'll use it happen. I usually get sunburn right back here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so make sure that you bring that sunscreen. You won't thank me later. Absolutely. The seventh essential that you're going to need, especially if you're a water baby like myself, Mm -hmm. is a waterproof fanny pack. And I brought two as an example of how popular these things are getting. Is This is what I usually wear. But we were just on the Icon of the Seas. And Icon of the Seas were actually giving this out for the inaugural sailing. So this just lets you know. That the fanny packs are back in style. Yeah, Don't they let are. nobody tell you they're not. And what I love mm-hmm. about this is I'm a person that I love to take everything that I need on me wherever I go. Like, right. I don't leave stuff in my chair, no beach chair, because I don't trust people like that. So my wallet usually is in there, my credit card. Um, It's definitely going to be in a RFID sleeve. Yeah. Don't your, get it twisted. Your phone. Your phone, anything. And Money. when I tell you it's... <clears throat> It's waterproof. It's waterproof. Yeah, because yeah, this particular one, I'm not sure about the Royal Caribbean. Is it 3-3? Three, three? Yes, it's triple zip. Triple zip. Yeah, zip. Then it folds like an accordion, yeah. and then it Velcros shut. Yep. So you literally have four opportunities to, of safety before water can reach your belongings. It's, it's been a game changer for us. Well, for right. me, because I'm, yeah. I'm the one that carries all the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. All the time. He don't wear no fanny pack. I have the backpack. He, well, it don't go in the water. Oh, like, your yeah. argument doesn't make sense. Oh, yeah, true that. True that. <laughs> true that. All right. Speaking of water, Nick's essential that we always bring is our waterproof phone cases. Mm-hmm. These have been a game changer for being on the ship and being in port. Uh, so yeah. when I'm on the ship, I put my phone and my uh, money in here. And sometimes I might slide my sign and sale card in here as well. If I don't want to put the lanyard and the card around my neck, I'll yeah. slide that in here sometimes too. It just depends. So what, get you a waterproof phone case so when you get in the water, you can use your phone. And bring several of them because sometimes they, they just leak. get... They, some of them will leak and some will just get lost. Right. And if you need to know how to test it, um, what you can do is put a, a paper towel on the inside... Put it in the water, bring it back out, pull the, the towel, the paper towel out. If and it's still dry, dry, you know you're, you're good. good. You got a good one. Yep. The ninth essential that you need, we don't have a demonstration for it because we're in the middle of packing, is bathing suits, swimming trunks, cover ups, you name it, you have. So some people might say, well, Lynette, I'm not a person that gets in the water. And I get that. But also, you got to remember, you are probably more than likely going to the Caribbean or sailing into a hot climate. You may want to at least dress the part, even if you just want to lay out on a beach chair, on a lounger, on the Lido deck, and just be a part of the crowd. Just blend in. Yep. (laughs) Just have it on. Just have it on and let it all hang out. (laughs) All right, so this next Essentials is definitely a must for me. I cannot go without these, which is my water shoes. Now, I've been through several different water shoes, but these has been my by far my favorite. Mine too. Because they they easily wash off the sand because it's actually made of rubber. Yeah, they're like so, the jelly shoes from back in yeah. the day. So, like, we used to have the cloth water shoes, and sand gets stuck in them. It takes forever. And, and then if, they're, they weigh a lot yeah, <laughs> once so, they're wet. So, in the comments, if you ever had water shoes that are cloth, and you got the sand in there, and you had trouble... Put that down there if that if you have experienced that. But that's why we switched to these right here. It's over the Cruise Essential store. We, they don't have them in black right now. But they do have these ones. But they do. But these yeah. are men's too. They just look like right. females. So do with that what you will. Um, hopefully, they'll bring them back and stop. Yep. The 11th Cruise Essential that we always bring, and I think you should too. You see it. The shades. The shades. shades. And the hat, but and the hat. Shameless plug. You see it? Yeah. You see the Life with Us TV bucket hat? Yes, indeed. And a visor, baby. I'm telling you that Caribbean sun hits differently. It hits differently on the eyes. It also hits differently on the top of your head. And if you are voluntarily bald, like my husband is. It's a it's a non-negotiable. Yeah. It's Bucky non-negotiable. Hat ga- Bucky hat is a game changer, fellas. Yes. Get you one, bro. Get you one. Get you one. Or two. 
And the link will be le- listed down below. All right, the next cruise essential that we always pack is a light jacket Mm -hmm. because we just never know what the weather is going to be like out there in the Caribbean. So, yes, it does be hot, but sometimes it can get cool. So we always make sure that we pack ourselves a light jacket. Absolutely. All right, the 13th thing that we always bring is our formal wear attire. Listen, it doesn't have to be glammed up like a ball gown. It doesn't have to be a tuxedo or whatever. But make sure you spruce it up a little bit. There is an elegant night, at least one, on every sailing. If you get to a six-plus night sailing, then you're going to have two. But bring something and make it a little special. Yeah, man. Yeah, everybody in the dining room going to be a little spruced up. Why don't you be spruced up? Yep. The 14th uh, Cruise Essential that we always pack will be our Lysol and our hand sanitizer. Non-negotiable. Yeah, this is a must. So we make sure that we spray our room down for any germs that's going to be in there. And mm-hmm. also have our sanitizer to make sure our hands is clean before we start touching stuff. Right? And after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next essential that we bring are towel clips. You can bring towel um, bands if you have those. Yeah. But these are essential, not just for like the Lido deck area where you might be um, occupying a lounger. And, you know, of course, clip your towel so it doesn't blow away. Yeah. But if you have a balcony cabin, listen. You may not think that the wind gets in there and whips around, but oh, if yeah, you're out, if you have some things out there, clip them to your chair. Trust yeah. me, they will blow away. Yeah, they will. So if you <laughs> if you take off your um swimwear and your swimwear is still wet, and you may not want to um hang it up in your shower, you can take them and put them outside on your chair, but make sure you clip them. Yep. All right, the sixteenth cruise essential that we always pack, and we definitely got to have this which is our Bluetooth speaker, man. Yes, got to, got to have it. Yes. But um, there's a little caveat to this, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> Carnival has recently said you can't bring them. We, we, we do break the rule on that one. Yeah. But so just make sure that you are in a position that if it's confiscated, it won't hurt. Because right. it's a possibility that it will. But we usually do this size or even a little smaller. And then we have something else that we're about to show you that is a little bit more conspicuous. Yeah. So the queen actually ran up on a Bluetooth speaker watch. And so we're getting ready to add this to our repertoire. So we're not going to take this. Mm-mm. We're going to take this. Uh, but we want to let you guys hear how it sounds real quick. Check it out. Y'all see them lights? Turn around so they can see the lights. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> but it has been a game changer even in, with our workouts and our morning walks and things like that. Like, yeah. So- we don't put the earbuds in our ears anymore. We just strap it onto our wrist. And I can see this being a game changer when you're walking the track. Like if you're a person like us, we love to walk a track on a cruise ship or walk around. And I can see this definitely being a game changer for yeah. us. And again, all the products that we're showing are linked in our Cruise Essential store linked below in the description. Absolutely. 17th Cruise Essential that we're always taking. You can you can clock us on our videos. You yes. gonna see a tumbler. And a reusable straw. Oh, this yes. comes in to clutch and shameless plug. Y'all see it. Y'all see the Life With Us TV. The Cruise tum- by Tumblers. You see it, right? Yep. Ain't she cute? But any hoodles. So you're always going to see this on our videos, any of our vlogs. And that's because, one, Carnival gives you candy straws and they yeah. are horrible. So we're always going to take some straws that we're able to rewash. And then we're always going to have a tumbler because I also like the option of having a lid on my drinks yep. and to be able to transport it and also for safety because not everybody is honest. Like you definitely want to be able to protect your um, beverages on the inside and, and um, keep them cold. Yep. And keep them cold or hot. All right. So these are the metal straws. Mm-hmm. This one is a telescope straw. And this is the one that we love the most. So we actually switched to this, but we wanted to show you both. But yeah. the telescope straw is nice because it goes in this and you unscrew it like this. And it's also metal. Yeah, it's metal. And it extends out like this and it becomes a straw. Then when you furnish with it, you put it back up, put it back in there. 
and the cleaner stores on the inside of it. So it's not a separate compartment. So when you yeah. first use it, wash it and pull yes. that cleaner out the middle. Yeah, this has been a game changer. Yes. Shout, shouts out to uh, Malik, and Malik. And Malik for turning us on to these right here, man. Sure did. Appreciate y'all, fam. Sure did. All right, the next essential that we bring, and of course we have to bring these because if we don't bring these, we can't bring y'all no videos, is our camera. So what we have, Lynette has the DJI Pocket 2. I have the DJI Pocket 3, the newest version. Every time we break these out on a cruise, people are always asking, what is that? And it's literally the footage it's that you camera. see. Yes. <laughs> so you probably ask, what's the difference? So the, re the real biggest difference, as you can see on the DJ Pocket 2, you can see the screen is smaller. Mm -hmm. On the Pocket 3, they gave you actually a bigger screen. That's one of the reasons why we really upgraded. And then also, it allows you, the Pocket 2, you can do a wireless mic with it. But the Pocket 3, you can do up to two two wireless mics with it, if I'm not mistaken. I know it's at least two. You might can do a little bit more, but I know it's at least two. That's why I got it. So if we want to do wireless, we can do that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this camera is so dope, y'all. It is. It is very inconspicuous. For those of you who don't want to bring attention to yourself while you're recording, this is it. DJI Pocket 2 which is more cheaper than the DJI Pocket 3, which is more expensive. But go ahead and new. get the 3. Yeah, but get, <laughs> get the, the three. 3. And, of course, the next thing that we take is our GoPro. Mm -hmm. So this is if you want to do some recording the in water the water. Shots. So, like, if you swimming with the dolphins or you doing underwater excursions, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, GoPro Hero 9. Hero 9 Black. Yeah, Black. Yes. All right, the next essential that we use is, and it took us a while to get here. I'm not even yeah. going to lie. Like, we used to see people walking around with these on, and I was like, that looks hideous. Yeah. Until you're hot. Yeah. <laughs> and once we started getting hot, hot, and we had to borrow somebody's one day date, well, they offered. They were like, "You would you like to use my neck fan? I was like, I must look like I'm hot. And yeah. I was like, wait. Game changer. This is a whole new world. But, baby. Yeah. Listen, when we were in um, Grand Cayman, my girl Kelly, shout out to Kelly. Yeah. Um. She has a handheld fan that she let me borrow when we were in Grand Cayman. What? <laughs> like, what? Like, this is a game changer. Now, it's not really what you think it is. It's an eyelash fan. But, baby, the three settings on here, y'all hear it, y'all. Y'all hear it. <laughs> y'all can feel it, too. I know you can. <laughs> baby, game changer. Game changer. All right, the 20th essential thing that we always pack, and this is another must-have, hmm. is our portable phone charger. The last <laughs> thing you need to do is to get in port and out on the excursion, and your phone go dead, and you don't have a way to, to charge your device. So always, we always bring a portable phone charger. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Not even just cruises. Right. Everywhere. Yes. The next essential for my husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> binoculars. Like, he's yeah. at that age now where everything needs to be investigated and seen up close. Yeah, because one of the things you're going to find out in our experience cruises, y'all can vouch for this, that you pull up in the port and you see something that's far off in the distance that looks cool, but you really can't see it. So, you know, I bought the binoculars so I can see that. I bought the binoculars so I can see the whales, the dolphins, when they jumping up beside the ship. So, it is perfect, man. So, hey, I always bring it. He's that guy. Yeah. Binoculars I'll, on deck. I'll be, I'll, be out, I'll, I'll be out there like this. <laughs> and he's not lying. <laughs> the next essential, non-negotiable, beach bag. Dry bags. Yes. Depending on which right. what you're about to get into, you're gonna need either one. Yeah. So the the dry bags are really good for when you're going doing excursions that dealing with water, mud. Yeah, water, mud. So we got we got one when we got a whole lot of stuff we got to bring. So this is the bigger one. Mm -hmm. and then we got a smaller one when we don't got too much stuff to bring. Yeah, and yeah. keep in mind that they have straps on the back so they go over your back like a backpack. So yeah. it's not like you have to just carry it, carry it. Yeah, it'll go. You like can sling it over your over your shoulder or yeah. wear it on your back. Yes. Yeah, and it like acts that. like a waterproof backpack. Yeah. The next thing, baby, and especially mm. if you're flying anywhere. Yes. Just invest in a portable luggage scale. It's yes. going to be a game changer for you. No more of standing on the scale in the bathroom, weighing yourself, than picking up your luggage to see what the difference is in weight is yeah. going to be. Just do this. You strap it on to whatever you're about to weigh and hook it in like that and just 
raise it up off the ground and it's going to calculate it right here and tell you how many yep. pounds it is. Listen, it will save your butt. It'll save you that hundred dollar over over, over, uh, over overweight, overweight fee. fee. Yes, <laughs> and the embarrassment of when you're just one pound over and you refuse to pay the fee. Yeah. So you're gonna open up all your belongings and your Victoria's Secrets are not secrets anymore <laughs> yeah. because everybody's gonna see them. Yeah. All right, the next essential thing that we bring, because out in the Caribbean, you just never know what the weather is going to be like. And one of the things that usually happen on Caribbean is <laughs> that they have quick downpours. So we always make sure that we bring a poncho. Now, yeah. sometimes we don't use it. We'll just get wet in the rain because when it it's a so hot quick. day out there, is that rain feels really, really good. Mm -hmm. But we still always have one just in case we don't want to get wet. Yes. So, yeah, pick you up a poncho because we always it bring them. It stays in the luggage. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't the leave the luggage. Yes. The next essential for travel, period. Yeah. Is an air tag. Yeah, man. We use our air tags in so many different ways. But I'm going to tell you where it becomes very essential when you're on a cruise. When you give your bag to the porter... You want to be able to see where it's moving to and where it may end up at. Right. And if you watch our Carnival Celebration series, you will see on Embarkation Day, probably within the first five minutes of the video, someone knocked on my door and brought me my luggage yeah. because it was dropped off at a door way down the hall. And since they saw it, they were like, let me just walk it down to it. But eventually, I would have been able to... Check in with my um, Apple tag and give a, get a location of where my bag was. Yeah. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to be able to keep track of your bags. Yep. And I like it that also it tracks it and it also make noise. So you can make it make noise so you can hear where it's at. Yeah. So you can sneak up on your bag. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. 26 Cruise Essential that we always pack. And this is definitely a must. And it's got to be a must for you. It's a laundry bag. Mm -hmm. So we always show this one right here. Uh, this again, this is linked in the Cruise Essential mm -hmm. store. We've right had them here. for years. Yeah, this this junk this this junk is clutch right here, man. We call it the Santa sack. Yeah. And then you just put it over your back, put it in your suitcase, carry it away, and get your clothes washed when you get home. Wash your clothes when you get home. The next essential, which goes with what we talked about earlier. Put your luggage tag in a luggage tag sleeve. Yes. These are game changer. They come with a wire fastener that you, you know, you do this little number one and you put it on your luggage. That way you have a very slim chance of this getting torn off yeah. and your bag being basically without an owner. If they don't know who it belongs to, then you're going to have to come down later and claim your bag. And more than likely, your suitcase is probably black like everybody else's. Yep. So... so you please do, invest in these. Yes. Please do not staple or tape your luggage tags to it's your bag. It's going to get ripped off. That's a sure way for it to get ripped off. Yeah. So this is yeah. reinforced with the, with the, um, rip. Is it called a rivet? I can't remember what it's called, but the silver ring yeah. around it so that it won't just get torn off. And for the first time, I'm going to make sure you understand that because us experienced people understand this is that the reason why you don't want to staple it and tape it because all of our bags, thousands of bags is going underneath the ship and they just throwing them. They on top of each other and moving. So it's worst thing. The worst thing that can happen is your stuff gets lost because the tag came up and then and it's going to be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, telling you. So protect yeah. yourself. Yeah. Protect yourself with these. Put your luggage tag in the yeah. sleeve. All right, the next essential thing that we bring is our wine stoppers, which is we do this type right here, this type of wine stopper for our wine, or we'll do this type, which is just the top. We like both of them. But if we bring champagne, we bring a champagne stopper. And this is the game changer mm -hmm. uh, right here. And this actually really does a good job of keeping the champagne nice, nice and, and fresh. Nice and fresh and crisp. Yep, it go down, clamps on it just nice and good. So we always bring these. Yep. And the next thing you knew, you need to get into the bottle. So if you got a cork, then something like this, cheap, efficient, doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Just go ahead and put that in your bag. A wine opener. Yes. All right. The 30th uh, essential that we always pack is a backpack. And mm -hmm. this is me right here. This is my excursion backpack. So mm, I yep. take everything we need from excursion. I put my uh, tumbler in here, the straw, the, um, towels. The towels, waterproof phone case, all the stuff that I need to take with me on the excursion. I put this in here. And I also put the queen stuff in here as well. 
so that we can have everything in yep. one bag. One bag. Yep. The next essential, and you're going to learn this quickly, that most ships do not have enough outlets. A non-surge protecting extender, something that you can plug multiple devices in, USB-C, B, A, B, A, what all, all of them. Yes. <laughs> You're going to need some, some outlets. So this is not the one that we take. It's just one that's readily available to us to show you right now. But as long as it's non-surge protected, you'll be able you'll be, to you'll bring that know. on board. Yep. All right. The next essential that we bring, and this is like essential to us. And you might want to add this to your repertoire as well. Is a door alarm. Yes. This is very important because it is not necessarily because you're afraid that the cabin steward is going to walk in on you, try to do something crazy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they might knock on your cabin and they might not hear that you saying that you're not ready and they just might just come in. Mm -hmm. So this will help stop that, but also intruders as well, just in case you have that. So we use this on the cruise ships, resorts. Hotels. Hotels, everything. Yeah, and it is loud. It's loud. <laughs> it's loud. So, yeah, uh, we always take this to make sure that we are protected. Yeah, so we can hear you before you get in any closer to us. Yes. <laughs> the next thing is an easy thing to bring. Ziploc baggies. Yes. I mean, it has so many different purposes, right? Um, if you have like dollar bills and sometimes if we don't want to just like take our money and put it in the phone case where you have to undo the phone case to get into it. Sometimes my husband will just take some money, put it in this, put it in his like his swimming trunks and secure it like that so right. that the money isn't wet. Like there's just so many things like if you are a person that. You like extra limes in your drinks or something like that. You can go to the buffet or go to one of the bars. Just grab you some limes, put them in here, and then you will just have them to put into your stuff. Like, you can find a bag. I mean, a, a purpose for a bag. Anytime. Yeah, right. The 34th essential that we always bring in, this definitely is an essential, is downy release. Rickle release. Listen. <laughs> yes, because the thing about on a cruise ship, um, they do have um, stations where you can iron your clothes. On most but, ships. Yeah, most ships. But in my opinion, I it's not worth it. I, it's not worth it to go stand there in line and on wait. vacation. Yeah, and wait. So either I will use the the downy wrinkle release, which works very well, or I will just send my clothes down to the cleaners and get them to, to dry clean them, them for me and, and press them and iron them for me for a little bit of money. Yeah, it's essential though. Yeah, very essential. Yeah. The next thing we bring is essential for me. It may not be essential for a lot of people, but. It's nothing in it right now. It's preparing to be transported. But a Glade plug-in, plug in. some type of room freshener or whatever. I am a person that I am a sense person. Like, I need my sensories. Everything needs to be tingling. Yeah. You want your, your cabin, your room, your hotel room to smell and remind you of home. Yep. So that's what we do. We create that atmosphere all throughout our vacation. Yeah, we do. And another thing that I also bring is some type of room spray. This yeah, has a dual app. purpose. So what I do is I kind of try to, whatever I'm using, I'm trying to com you know, make them comparable to each other. So we just don't have a competing of scents. That's team too much. But this I use in the bathroom. So before you go, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the 36 is cruise essential thing that we always pack is some dish washing soap. And this is so that we can continually keep our straws and our cups clean mm -hmm. because we're going to be putting water, soda, liquor, liquor. All that in your cup. Fruit. Yeah, so you want to make sure that you bring this to keep your tumbler and your straws clean. So mm -hmm. you gonna, and you're going to thank me later. Absolutely. Yes. The next essential. It took us a while for yeah. this to be a requirement for us. But bug spray. Up until we started traveling heavy last year, we didn't actually need this. Then we went to Honduras. Yeah. And Honduras taught us. Be prepared for anything because yeah, anything's about to happen. Yes. And thankfully, <laughs> we had it. So once we got bit maybe about the 10th time, we were able to head off the next 100 bites. Right. But it's worked really, really well. This is the plant-based one. This one works really well. I can't say about the other ones, but this is the one I just happened to grab at Target, and it worked for us. And of course, the 38th thing we cannot forget is our lanyard, man. Listen. Yeah, so the lanyard is going for the first time with your lanyard is going to be what's going to hold your sign and sale card. I explained mm -hmm. what that was earlier in the video. So, yeah, you definitely want to have it. You won't ever want to put your sign and sale card in your pocket. No. You want to put it on else. here to make sure you have it because you don't want it to slip out your pocket. 
And then there's a, that's a trip to guest services to get that replaced. Yes. Who wants to do that on you vacation? You don't want to do that. So, yep, make sure you pick yourself a lanyard. Agreed. And the 39th essential thing that we bring are our toiletries bags. So yes, we're going to run through each of what we bring in our toiletry bag. This is not in detail because there are some things that are very specific to who we are. But these right. are more of the universal things that we feel like will help you out. So the first thing for me, deodorant. The next thing is some kind of shower gel. Yep. And I always put most of my things in travel containers because why not? And I am a thicker girl, so the body glide so that the legs can go shoo, shoo, shoo. Yeah. <laughs> Essential lotion, because nobody has time to be ashy on vacation. That part. Um, personal hygiene gel. If you know, you know. Um, also, another spray, because like I said, I'm a smell good kind of person. I always use a body cream, like a shea butter or something like that, because look at me. Soap. I'm a bar soap type of girl. I'm also a shower gel kind of girl. I'm going to use both. Some type of lip care. Most of the time is going to be uh, something like this, a bomb. A Carmix. A because you can't go wrong with that. My razor has seen better days, so that needs to be replaced. But that, y'all know, if y'all been around here for a while, this is not the brand I usually take, but my other brand is on the Amazon truck for today. Compressed face towels. The brand that I usually use, they come with this little carrier where you can put five compressed towels in here. This is usually what they're in in my bag. So basically, you know, if you don't know what a compressed towel is, it looks like a pill. Basically, it's like a little pill pack. And once it goes in the water, it's a full fledged washcloth. Wash cloth. Yep. And you use that for your face. And if you're a person that has skin that's sensitive or you just want to make sure that you can see that you're getting everything off your face. Right. Good way to do it. Love them. So pack those away. I also travel with gum, not necessarily in my toiletries bag, but also just to have it because I am, my ears pop a lot. When I am on the plane, my ears will clog. So I'm going to chew gum. You probably saw me do it in videos. Me, I have dry eyes. So what I do is I get some artificial tears, and these ones are the Thera Tears Extra. They come in like five vials in a pack. I just take one and put them in because one vial will actually last me like a couple of days. Right. These are a game changer. I'm not even going to lie. Um, took me a while to get back to it, but I did. Always going to have a smell good. And what I do is I have stopped buying full-size bottles of perfumes. I just buy the travel size, and these go, and this one right here, the Lake and Sky, perfection. Yeah. It's the perfect vacation scent. So put that in my bag. I also travel with, and I take these from the hotels that we're in, is a nail file. I get my nails done, but on vacation, sometimes you'll get a chip. Buff it out going about your life. Nipple covers. We grown here. <laughs> we are grown here. When you're on vacation, you wear little stuff that are maybe a little bit more skimpier than you use. And I found these ones that are skin tone to me. So I was walking around one day and I said, what the hell happened to your nipples? Mike, you were dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's a cover, baby. That's a cover. <laughs> I was like, you thought they fell off in my baby suit. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing that I always carry with me, and it's really for my husband, to be honest with you, is the Tide to Go Wipes. These right here, baby. Yeah, they is clutch, though. Yeah, but you're also going to have your things. Like, I've gotten into a mode now where I bring, like, one-time use toothbrushes. I don't know where I got into this from. They come with toothpaste that I don't use, but I love these. Because it's nasty. It is. Heck. It's nasty. But I love these one, these single use toothbrushes. I throw what, however many I need for my trip, and every day um, after the end of the day, morning and night, I'll throw it in the trash and go on about my business. Alright, fellas. I have nowhere near as much stuff, as essentials <laughs> as the queen got. I got the basic stuff. Of course, my soap or body soap, either one. Or both. Or both. My beard oil, of course. Got to have my brush and my comb. Of course, my deodorant is a must. Toothpaste. 
I also use the the disposables like the Queen, but I also have this one too, like a foldable toothbrush. Uh, I I love this too because it makes it a lot easier to travel. It's folded like that. Mm -hmm. So I have that. I always bring my car mix. I have to bring my little travel size uh, shaving gel and my shaver so I can keep the head ball while I'm on vacation. And of course, I bring my floss. Got to get to keep them teeth right. Mm -hmm. And finally, my cologne so I can smell good, man. Absolutely. Yep. So I bring those on every every trip. Every trip. If you have enjoyed this video, you mm -hmm. want to check out this video next on the screen. 18 pack mistakes all cruisers must avoid. And we're going to see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.